Okay then gang, so the next action we want to make here is the delete action to delete habits both from Firestore and from the store state, right? So let's make a new async function down here under this comment called delete habit. And as an argument to this, we need the habit ID. Remember, each habit has a unique ID assigned by Firestore, which we need to identify the document when we want to delete it or do something with it. All right, so inside this function then, we need to first of all grab the DB value by destructuring it from the use Nuxt app composable, and we'll be using that DB value shortly. Then next, we need to get a reference to the document inside Firestore, which we want to delete. And to do that, we need to import a function from the Firestore module called doc. So much like we can use the collection function to get a collection reference, we can use the doc function to get a document reference. Now, while we're here, we're also going to import the delete doc function, which we'll need later to actually delete the document once we have a reference to it. OK, so now back down in the function, let's get a reference to the document we want to delete by saying const. And then I'm going to call this doc ref set that equal to the doc function we just imported and invoke that. Now inside this doc function, we pass three things, the DB instance, first of all, then the collection name, and then finally the ID of the document we want to reference to. Well, we'll be getting that as an argument right here, the ID. So we'll pass that value in right here as a third argument. All right now, so we have a reference to the document. Next, we want to delete that document. To do that, we say await, and then we use the delete doc function and pass in the document reference as an argument. So this function reaches into the database to find this document and it deletes it. So now we've deleted the habit from Firestore, we also need to remove it from the habits property on the store state to update the UI in the browser. To do this, we can say this.habits is equal to this.habits again. And then we're going to use the filter method on the current habits array. And what the filter method does is fire a function, which I'm making right here, for each habit in the array, which we get access to as an argument in this function. And from that function, we return either a true or false value. If we return true, then the habit stays in the array. If we return false, then it gets removed from the filtered array. So really, we only want to return false when the ID that we pass in as an argument matches the ID on the habit in the array because we want to remove that one. So we return false for it. So we can say right here, habit.id is not equal to the ID argument we have because for every habit in the array, this statement will be true except for the habit where the IDs match because for that case, this statement returns false and we filter out that habit, all right? Cool. So now we're updating the store state as well. Next, we need to trigger this action from the UI. So to do that, we need to go to the habit list component because this is where we have a delete button for each habit. Now, before we hook that up to anything, we need to import the use habit store function so we can use the store inside this file. What I'm going to do is just come down here and say const habit store is equal to use habit store. I'm going to click on this and invoke it. And then we need to import it up here. So we can say import use habit store this one right here. And it comes from not this thing right here. It comes from tilde and then forward slash stores forward slash habits. All right then. So we have this habit store. And now what I'm going to do is create a function inside this script over here that we're going to invoke when we click on this delete button. So let's create that function down here and we're going to call it delete habit. And it's going to be an async function where we're taking the ID of the habit and then do something inside this function. All I'm going to do is say await habit store dot delete habit and then pass in the ID. So we're calling this action that we just created over here, delete habit from the store. Now what we want to do is we want to invoke this function up here when we click on the delete button. So let's come to that and we can say at click and we set that equal to a function delete habit, which we just created. And oops, this needs to go inside the quotes. We need to invoke this right here and pass in the habit.id. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now when we click on this button, it's going to invoke this function, which calls this action, delete habit and passes in the ID. And then 
we get a reference to the document with the ID in the database, we delete it, and then we update the local store state as well. So then, let's try this out. All right then, so if I now try to delete one of these, then yep, we don't see it here anymore. And if I refresh, we shouldn't see it because we persisted that change in the database as well. I'm gonna try adding a new one again, workout daily, and then we'll add the habit, okay? Refresh, it's still there, delete it, and it goes, yep, all working, awesome. 